Hey everybody, welcome to Lex's Lounge. I'm outside working today. Yep, working, I picked up a little part-time gig. Bylaw, as you can see right there, I'm actually now a dog control bylaw officer, which isn't a bad gig at all. I just kind of tour around parks and on nice pretty beaches, and once in a while I gotta write a ticket, which isn't so bad. I try to be not a Nazi about it, you guys know me. But yeah, the whole blogging and stock market thing was, you know, very enjoyable and I still do it, but it wasn't very good for one's health. I found myself gaining weight, having some back problems. So I thought to myself, okay, I'm going to uh, get out there and do something a little bit more physical. And here I am still blogging in the outdoors, kind of a weird thing. Other than that, today I kind of wanted to discuss Starlink, uh, the SpaceX program, because that's a really cool program. About two weeks ago, SpaceX had a satellite launch for a client, but with that satellite launch, they launched something else. Two mini satellites named Tintin 1 and Tintin 2. And the point of the satellites was to test out their new Wi-Fi satellite system. That's right, SpaceX plans to make a Wi-Fi system with satellites. How many satellites? Well, roughly 4,500 mini satellites, which is absolutely insane considering that there's roughly only 4,500 satellites in current operation in total uh, circling around the Earth. So this is an enormous project and these first two satellites are kind of like the alpha test for it. But I think they can actually get it done. Uh, one reason I think that they can get it done is because of the BFR rocket, which I've discussed before. I'll link to the episode in the description where I talked about it. And that rocket can do a whole lot of things. Uh, it can resupply the space station, it can go to Mars. Uh, but another thing it can do is it can launch satellites. And if those satellites are small, it can launch tons of them at one time. I don't know how many exactly, but I'd estimate at least a hundred of them at a time. So that's what I expect is going to happen. Now, who is going to pay for the initial satellites? I suspect that the person who will pay for them initially is going to be Google. The reason it's Google is because A, Elon Musk is good friends with uh, Larry Page and Sergey Brin of Google. And the second reason is that uh, Google wants this to happen a lot. Currently, roughly only half the people on Earth have a reliable, stable, proper internet connection. And this system would ensure that everybody has an internet connection. With Starlink, you could get Wi-Fi in the middle of the rainforest if you were so inclined, which is absolutely nuts. And uh, for Google, that's more people online, more people on Google, more eyeballs viewing search results and ads. And that's what they're really after. So that's why I believe they're going to be paying for it. Uh, I'll try to also link to some info on Starlink as best as I can find it right now. There's not a whole lot of info on this program, but it's anticipated that it could be running in as little as seven to eight years. So that is uh, really, really quick and really, really soon for a project that's this ambitious. So hopefully we're going to see that real soon. Uh, on that note, uh, that's it for the episode. Welcome to all of our new subscribers off of the main channel. This is what we do here on Lex's Lounge. We just discuss uh, random interesting topics. So I hope you guys will stick around. And uh, for the rest of you, subscribe, hit that like button, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.